Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I talk about writing, books, philosophy, and pretty much whatever I want. My name is Kate, thank you so much for being here. Okay, I have not done a vlog in quite some time, and so I thought, why not? Today I will do another vlog. It is September 23rd. Okay, I set you up on my tripod because amazingly, my arm was already getting tired holding my camera. So I guess this vlog is going to be a work slash editing writing kind of thing. I don't know if these exist on YouTube, but to be honest, I didn't even search for it because I want to be the only one who does writing vlogs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log into my Postmates account and let it go live while I sit down at my laptop to do some more writing and editing. And if an order comes through within an hour, then we will go do that and then go to the cafe or we'll spend an hour here editing and then go to the cafe. I was up super late last night, so if you see the pain in my eyes, the sleepiness, that is why. I feel totally cracked out, honestly, even though I've never done crack in my life. I can't believe I did that. But time just kept going so fast. I, I was watching a YouTube ambiance video that was like two hours long, and I swear it ended three different times so fast that I was like, did two hours really just pass like that? So I was just locked in until five in the morning doing some editing and I just couldn't tear myself away. So that is my plan for the majority of today to do more of that or do some work for Postmates, I don't know, because the job market in LA sucks. So yeah, I've got my laptop over there. I'm gonna sit down and get to some writing and editing. Let's go. Okay, still waiting to see Postmates deliveries, but before we go any further, these are blue light glasses, by the way. I should probably take them off because I'm sure there's a glare, but I don't know if they actually work, but I wear them anyways. Here's what's going on. If you've been watching my content, then you know that I am publishing a book soon, and I have entered into this very obsessive mode where I like can't stop reading what I've written. <laughs> I'm reading it through right now for the 11th time when I originally said that the 10th time was going to be the last. I posted this picture yesterday saying, oh, what an amazing day to be sitting at my favorite cafe and finishing up my book here where I wrote part of the story. It feels so right. Well, I lied because I came home after that editing and I realized, you know what, no, I can make it better. I, I like, I wanna go to Claire's to get a lobotomy. I'm so annoyed with myself. I'm constantly like, no, I could be better, I could be better, let's go in, let's go in, let's do more. Um, let's go ahead and take these off now. Yeah, I'm just sort of driving myself crazy. And, and the difficult part of it is, I've come out and said October 11th, that's publication date. So I only have a limited amount of time to get it right for publishing. I, I spent, I don't know, maybe eight hours in an editing hole yesterday, but you know what? It's it's my baby, so I guess, I guess I'm gonna keep on going and working on it until I feel completely satisfied because really there is no rush. I'm just self-imposing these deadlines on myself because I just want to be done, but I also want it to be the best that it can be. Okay, I just dropped off two Postmates orders for a grand total of $15. <laughs> and I'm now sitting here waiting to see if anything else comes through. You know, sometimes Postmates is pretty good. And then other times you get a call for one order and then nothing else comes through, even though it's busy. And the entire time, all I could think about was how I would much rather be sat at my computer editing my book. <laughs> Honestly, these days, any time away from my laptop is feels like a waste of time. So I'm going to sit here for a few more minutes and see if anything else comes through. And if not, we're going to go to the cafe.
I just got home. I spent about three hours at the cafe doing some editing. <laughs> I think it's really uh, hitting me now just how much work this is gonna take. And I'm wondering if the October 11th date is still feasible, but I'm gonna make it feasible because I've committed to it. I came home and enjoyed some guac and salsa and chips, as you saw earlier, and it was delicious. I don't know if I wanna take an editing break or if I wanna go for a walk maybe, do something active. Maybe try some Postmates again, I don't know. I still haven't quite mastered the art of confidently vlogging in public. Not that I do it very often, but I didn't want the people behind me to think I was filming them or be uncomfortable being filmed. So I didn't film myself at the cafe, but I had a really nice time. That cafe is probably my favorite places to go to in LA, especially just to chill and write or read. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do right now until later and I do some more writing and editing. I really am gonna have to get a wide angle lens for this camera at some point because this is not it. Um, I lied. I did not take a break. I sat down right after that last update and I just kept on writing, kept on editing. I just spent maybe an hour and a half working on one chapter. If I'm gonna spend time combing through this book for the 11th time as I am right now, I'm gonna have to get really real with myself because this is gonna take me a long time. And it's honestly ridiculous. I thought I was done writing this book months ago. I did not see myself sitting down, doing what I'm doing now. I was like, okay, the book's written and you can feel confident enough with the job that you've done and you can move on to another book. No, here I am still working on this one. And I think it just goes to show how much I love this book and how much I hope that people like it or that, I don't know, it's an, it's an escape for people, but I'm gonna have to, you know, accept at some point that my work needs to be done. Somebody on social media today replied to um, a post I made and said, there's like, I don't know, some Michelangelo quote or somebody, I don't know, Da Vinci who said, art is never complete, just abandoned or something. And I was like, well, okay, but I need to be done at some point. I think I'm gonna actually take a break now, maybe make some dinner, and then come back to it. I'm on page 98 of 369. It has taken me so far about like 14 hours to edit up to this point. So you do the math, how long that's gonna take for 369 pages. I just deleted a chapter <laughs> on purpose. Yep, yeah, that's the update. Okay, it is 11, 17 p.m. Um, I am on page 164 out of 364. I've now been editing for about three and a half hours. This candle is almost completely down to the quick. Is that the right way to say that? I don't know, whatever, I'm tired. I am not done editing for the evening, but I'm thinking that this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and shower, wash my face, and at least get ready for bed, but I'll probably spend another 
hour or two editing. I will not stay up till five in the morning again. <laughs> There's no way, that was ridiculous. I don't know how I survived today on like four hours of sleep. I guess it was just because I was so excited to keep going and to keep editing. I might do another vlog like this within the next week because really that's all the time I have to finish editing this <laughs> if I'm going to stick to the October 11th publication date, which I have every intention of doing. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with book announcements and whatever's going on with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was an interesting day. Please let me know down below any thoughts you have on the video or just let me know what's going on with you. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.